Hi, I'm Jason. How you doing? Um, let's not ignore the elephant in a room. COVID-19. God, it's a nightmare. I hope that you and yours are well. Um, it's challenging times. I'm probably the wrong time to be telling you about a new technology that's coming out there. But I'm going to do it anyway because we've got to carry on carrying on. Um, my proxy.io, myself and my colleagues are mostly... Um, I've been working for over a year now on this. Can you see my chin? Before all of this, there's no grey. I'm telling you, seriously. Um, converts your old Android phones into mobile proxies. Yep, you did hear that right. Those amazing IP address ranges that you get from your cell phone provider, they're now available for you to use in your software. Whether that software that you're running on your computer or custom stuff that you've coded up, whether it be via an API, whether it be by clicking a button, I've now got mobile proxies on demand that are available for you. All you have to do is install an app um, on your phone, click a few configuration stuff that uh, other videos will show you about, and we've got instructions. And you've got every one of those IPs that your network provider has available to use. Um, without having to pay those horrendous rates that some of the providers out there that provide so-called 4G proxies. Anyway, these really are 4G proxies. It's coming on your phone. Um, and to be honest, it's 5G proxies too. If you've gone off and got an amazing new 5G phone on a 5G data tariff, that's what you'll be using. Anyway, but I should add, we're not charging you for this, at least not at the moment. For future, we'll wait and see. But we need help, we need assistance, we need users to get the feedback and tweak the settings. We need real people on there using it. Um, so no fees. All you're going to be paying for these 4G proxies is direct to your cell phone provider. Whatever their data charges are is what you'll be paying. You won't be paying us a penny. Um, so if you want 4G proxies on demand, if you want the IP ranges that are available via your network provider, if you've got some old phones that are sitting there in a drawer, Android phones that are sitting there in a drawer, and you want to use them and to utilise them the best way possible, then get yourself some unlimited data tariffs. Um, and all of those IPs are going to be available to you, you to use in your projects, however you're doing it, whatever you do. Competitive research, understanding the SERPs, data liberation, as I like to call it. Anyway... I'm going to dive to a screen share in a moment and I'll be telling you about my proxy, but that's myproxy.io. Hit us up with any questions that you've got. The truth is it works and it's a beautiful thing. Um, and now those Android phones, those proxies that you want are available to you just by clicking a few buttons. See you on the inside. Hi, this is Jason. We're here at my proxy and I'm going to show you around on the inside here. So you can see we're at client.myproxy.io and we're at the dashboard and I'm going to show you some of the devices that I've got on this new account. Um, you'll see there's two devices here, Pixel 4 and Huawei Pot LX1. Um, I hope I pronounced that brand correctly. I always have trouble with Huawei or Huawei, um, however it's supposed to be pronounced, but it's a phone and it's a phone that's actually connected to the computer at the moment and it's here. We're using an application called Visor to uh, view it here. Um, if I swipe across, we have, if I can get it to work, there we go. My proxy that's running there on the phone. That'll probably be a last I show of you there at the moment, but you'll see I'm logged in. See the two devices are both online and active. Um, but we configure within here um, different things within the phone. Um, this actual phone is here in the UK. It's on a network called 3. Um, and we have an IP address you can see starts 94 and ends 31. Um, I've also separately got um, Firefox instance here. Um, I'm doing this for demonstration reasons to show how we can configure proxies and enable them within the system. You'll see it's got no proxy at the moment. And if I go to Google and say, hey Google, what is my IP address? Yeah, I'm refreshing that obviously. It ends in 244. Um, but if we create a proxy or user proxy because I've clearly done it just before and um, we can see that on the proxies we've got a demonstration test and I'm going to manage that and show you what it is uh, we've got a proxy that we've defined on an IP address and a port number and if we were to take that I'm going to copy the port number um, and edit our whitelist to make sure our IP is on there which it is 
then we can make it work within within here. Now, manual proxy configuration, IP address, same as over there, port 49712, 49712 here. Um, it's an HTTP proxy, but because most websites are HTTPS as well, we've got to make sure we tick this box. So use this proxy for FTP and HTTPS. Again, this is in Firefox as a demonstration. Um, so if we go to where we were before, you can see that was our, our uh, IP address when we we're on our Virgin Broadband connection. Um, but if I refresh this, it should now say that we're on 31. Ends in 31, 94.197. We can go back to my devices, the Huawei Pot LX1. It is that same IP address. But here's the really, really interesting, exciting thing. We can send a request to the phone to say, change your IP address. Now, I will be clear, it takes a few seconds because it actively sends a command to a phone, tells the phone, hey, get disconnected from the cell tower, kills all network communication, then reconnect, then connect back to us so we can send the proxy data all around the way that we've got to. So it takes a few seconds, but that's okay because you get all of these the IP addresses so quickly. I'm going to click change now and it's sending a request over the internet via our application and it's sending it through. And what will come back here, hopefully in just a moment, is a, a notification coming up here at the top right hand corner of our screen saying, yeah, you know what? We've sent that through and it's gone through okay and everything's working. As I'm sure you can tell by now. There we go, IP request changed, it's come through. It still needs to reconnect, um, needs to reconnect to a network, needs to reconnect to my proxy and that's all happening now behind the scenes. But if I were to click here, and hopefully we'll see that it's now got a different IP. It started 94 before and ended 31. It now starts 92 and ends 132. Now, we haven't changed any of the settings over in Firefox. None at all. So if I click here and refresh it, we hopefully will see an IP address that starts 92 and ends in 132. Let's see what happens. Boom! There we go. New IP address. And we can click this whenever we want. If you write your own software, if you have your code, all of it's available via API as well. But it's a quick demonstration of how you can use unlimited IP addresses, mobile proxies on demand once this is on your system. Yes, you are reliant on the mobile phone network signal at the place you've got the phones located, but those phones don't have to be located where you are. If you've got family, friends, offices, you can get different geographic aspects. And all of this is available right now to you for your mobile phones. That's unlimited, effectively unlimited IP addresses, not just IP addresses, mobile 4G IP addresses on demand by running this software on your phones. Your spare Android phones is best. And two, three, four of them increases the simultaneous connections that you can, you can use. But creating a proxy, in fact, I haven't created a proxy. Let's do that now. If you see this one here, it's uh, um, an HTTP proxy. What I'm going to do, go to my proxies. I'm actually going to make a new one, make a new proxy. And this type, I'm going to make a, I'm going to go to my proxies, your device, and I'm going to put it on the Huawei. And I'm going to make it as a protocol SOX, because the last one was uh, uh, HTTP. So I'm going to make it SOX 5. There's a benefit to SOX 5. I like it, because although if your software really supports HTTP proxies, it's amazing. But if there's software that's old or it hasn't got proxy support enabled, you can force SOX on an application. Um, there's multiple software bits that are out there that help you do this. I'm not going to get into that now, but if there's a piece of software that you really want to use and use it over proxies, but it doesn't have proxies, SOX is ways you can force it to go through SOX proxies. We'll probably get to that in another video. But for now, we're going to make it as a SOX proxy. Next. We've got to add an IP address that's going to be allowed to access this proxy. It's really important for security. That's your security, not ours, to be clear. Um, so we add this to make sure that only your IP address that you authorize can, can use it. If you're running the code on a server, whether it be a Windows virtual machine, a Linux box, whatever it is, remember you've got to put the server IP addresses in here as well. So I'm going to add my IP. That automatically gets the IP that you're accessing our site from. Um, you can put them in manually as well if you want. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Socks 5 Demo. 
pretty self-descriptive. It's doing a magic behind the scenes, setting up lots of tunnels and things. And there we go, Sox 5 demos there. And I've got an IP address and I've got a port number. So what I'm going to do is go over to here, back to Firefox, back to settings to the proxy. And I'm going to create a Sox 5 proxy. And the port I've copied, I'm going to paste it in there. The IP address for this demo is going to be the same. I need to check that. Yes, it is. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to delete the HTTP proxy. So we're just going to be using SOX5 uh, 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 for this. So you can see manual proxy configuration, IP address, and the port number. Okay, so that's there. That's working. Now, if we go over to my proxies, SOX5 demo, we go to my devices, WayPot LX1, IP address of 92.40. We will go over to here. What is my IP address? Same IP address we've shown before because I haven't refreshed that. We're now going to click refresh and we should get the IP address come back. We do. It's working as a SOX5 proxy. I'm now going to say again, just as before, I'm going to click change now. It's going to send that request over the internet to the phone. It's going to say to the phone, disconnect the mobile phone network, reconnect to the mobile phone network, get an IP address, just like your home computer, your laptop or your mobile phone when you get home and it speaks to the server, the router that you've got a router if you're stateside uh, uh, in your home and says give me a new IP address, give me via DHCP an IP address. I've been out, I've now come back, give me an IP address and that's going to happen behind the scenes. Um, I'm hoping by now that while I'm talking it's had long enough to do that and if we look down here the IP address was starts in 92, ends in 132. I'm going to refresh this and we've got an IP address that starts in 94 and ends in 46. Still on SOX 5 over here on Firefox and if I click refresh we get an IP address which is the same. Starts in 94, ends in 46 and that guys and girls is the power of my proxy. Now let me make it clear we are not charging you for this service at the moment. That is not some marketing bullshit that's going to change, blah, blah, blah. Whenever you bring your own device and you add it to the system, there is no money that you need to give us. Now, we are going to be up selling up, selling down a line, etc., etc. But more importantly at the moment, we need numbers on here to work out scalability and server counts and things like that. And we need to give it a real stress test. And we've learned there's no bigger stress than giving something away that our industry and our marketplace will use and we use extensively and we'll find ways of breaking things that we could never imagine. And on top of that, let's be really honest here. There's big players out there who are charging fortunes for 4G mobile phones and 4G mobile phone proxies rather. You shouldn't be paying that. You've got a service that now costs you just what you'll be paying for your data tariff on your cell phone, your mobile phone. You're not going to be paying us a penny directly. You're indirectly or directly rather, will be paying your cell phone data tariffs. There's some amazing deals out there at the moment. Unlimited data from three in the UK, 20 quid a month, 20 pounds per month. I'm sure there's equivalent elsewhere in Europe and around the world, stateside, etc. Whatever the prices are, that's what you're fixed at. One phone, one SIM card, whatever the unlimited data is, go out and get the damn thing. We're going to be coming back with recommendations to, to who we think are great offers in a place. But at the moment, you know your geography better than we do. We haven't done that research. I'm simply saying that you get unlimited IP addresses available from the network on demand using old Android phones. Anyway, that's the demonstration for now. I'm excited. I hope you are too. If you go over to the Play Store, play.google.com store, and you search for my proxy. Dot io. And there we go. That's when she who shall not be named is diving in. Here's the application. You can see it's installed. Go and install that and get yourself over to my client or myproxy.io and sign up there. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the inside real soon. And let me know how you get on. It's really important that we give this an amazing stress test. But just as importantly, that you get the benefit of not spending all of those fortunes of money on other 4G providers who are big out there and charging $50, $60 per gigabyte of data, but also that your work that you're doing, especially in these stressful times of COVID, has the best chance of success. It's unblockable 4G IPs. Really amazing times.